Today I am going to discuss about inflation that is one of the basic economic problems. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management and from this figure you can understand the inflation with respect to the value of money the prices of the goods and services will increase so in inflation value of money decreases at the same time prices of services and goods increase and here you can see the effect of inflation on the people here you can see how inflation has changed the price of cup of tea over the period of time in 1970 it is 0.25 dollar 1980 it is 0.45 dollar then it is gradually increasing and in 2019 it is 1.59 dollar so the value of money decreases due to the inflation at the end of this video you will be able to understand meaning of inflation definition of inflation and types of inflation so let's start from the first meaning of inflation inflation is defined as a significant increase in the price level or a fall in the value of money when the level of currency of a country exceeds the level of production inflation occurs value of money depreciates with the occurrence of inflation now definition of the inflation according to c crowther inflation is state in which the value of money is falling and the prices are rising the rate of inflation is measured by the annual percentage change in the level of prices as measured by the consumer price index now types of inflation there are several types of inflation which are classified on different basis here eight important types of inflations are discussed creeping inflation walking inflation running inflation galloping or hyperinflation demand pool inflation cost pool inflation comprehensive inflation and sporadic inflation open inflation and suppress inflation now let's see one by one all these inflation briefly first creeping inflation when the rise in prices is very slow means less than 3% per annum like snail is called creeping inflation such an increase in prices is regarded safe and essential for economic growth next walking inflation when prices rise moderately and the annual inflation rate is a single digit that means from 3% to 10% it is called walking inflation inflation at this rate is a warning signal for the government to control it before it turns into running inflation now it's turn for the running inflation when prices rise rapidly like the running of a horse at speed rate of 10% to 20% per annum it is called running inflation its control requires strong monetary and fiscal measures otherwise it leads to hyperinflation so now let's see hyperinflation it is sometimes called as the galloping inflation also when prices rises between 20% to 100% per annum or even more 
it is called galloping or hyperinflation such a situation brings a total collapse of the monetary system of the country because of the continuous fall in the purchasing power of money next demand pool inflation demand pool inflation takes place when aggregate demand is rising while the available supply of goods is less next cost push inflation cost push inflation is caused by increasing wage which is enforced by trade unions and profit increases by employers so they definitely the cost of the services and goods increases rapidly and that leads to inflation next comprehensive and sporadic inflation when the prices of all commodities in the economy rise it is called comprehensive inflation it extends to every sector in the economy whereas sporadic inflation on the other hand is sectorial in nature that means comprehensive inflation is affected on every sector whereas sporadic inflation is sectorial only it refers to a situation wherein inflation is experienced by a certain sector only of the economy when prices of only few commodities in few regions rise it is known as sporadic inflation for example rise in food prices due to bad monsoon next open inflation and suppress inflation inflation is said to be open when the government takes no steps to control the rise in the price level thus open inflation is a result of the uninterrupted operation of the market mechanism on the other hand inflation is said to be suppressed when the government actively intervenes to check the rise in the price level so very simple in open inflation the government does not intervene at all whereas in suppress inflation government actively intervenes to check the rise in the price level if you want to see more videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video